Hello everyone, I'm Adrian aka Androtex and today I will be showing you how to download, install and use Lightmatica. So if you already have the mod installed, skip ahead to this timestamp on the screen for the tutorial on how to use it. Let's get started. First of all, you wanna go to this page fabricmc.net all of the links are in the description if you are too lazy to write it in <laughs> uh, you want to go up here and go to click on use uh, and then download one of these two uh, depending on what you're on if you're on universal like Mac or anything like that press here if you're on Windows, press here. Uh, this will download a file like this. Just keep it there. Let's go to the next link. This is the Fabric API that you need to download to be able to use the Fabric, basically. So right here you press download and then wait for this to count down. Don't press there because uh, it's like an ad. Um, it says that it can be harmful for your computer. Just keep it. Trust me. Uh, it's it's no worries. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna look like that. That fabric API. Next link is the Lightmatica mod, as you see here. Um, do the same thing on this page. It's gonna say. Um, yeah, it's gonna say it's uh, harmful for your computer again. Just press keep. This one is also needed if you want to use Lightmatica. Just press download as usual. Wait the seconds up here. And press keep. These three now are just optional. If you want Optifine at the same time, uh, you need to download this. The same principle. Uh, if you want some sort of a mod menu, you can see all the mods you've installed on the fabric. Uh, you can download this one as well. Just press download and keep. I also use world edit when I want to make some cool buildings and put them into a survival world or something. So you go to this link. Uh, view less successful build and click on world edit fabric MC now that you have all of these you can open up your Explorer type percent app data percent double click the dot minecraft folder double click the mods folder and drag all of these inside as you can see, I already have them in here. I also forgot you need to start this and just press install. And when, you, when you've done all that, download, install this fabric and put everything in here. You're pretty much good to go. So here you can see when you load up the Minecraft launcher, you can see down here fabric dash loader dash 1.15.2. If it doesn't say that, you've done something wrong, or you can just pr uh, find it in here. If it doesn't show here either, you've definitely done something wrong, so watch the video back and do everything again. Uh, just press play, and I'll show you how to work with it. So, now that we're in a world, this is my world, I've built all of this. Uh, because I want to build it on a survival server and I tried to build it here in uh, with uh, the world edit tool which I downloaded um, yeah it turned out pretty good so I'm gonna uh, export this into a survival world and build it uh, with the help of the schematic tool so let's go over here I'm gonna make a quick, I don't know, box. So 
So now that you have your building, you want to be able to build in, for example, survival or another world, basically. You can... You press stand in one of the corners. I prefer... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. This. Um, stand in one of the corners and... Yeah, press M. This will pop up. Uh, and you need to go to area editor. In here you need to go to area selection browser. Here I have all my already made schematics. You want to click new selection and name it. I'm gonna name my block because it is it's a block basically. Now you can see this one. That's where I was standing. Um, that's the first position of the selection. If I now want to select all of this, I can go up here, stand here, press M again, area editor, configure on the block, and this is the first corner, and this is the second corner, so you want to press move to player, boom. And now you've selected the block. So now, what you want to do, when you have this, you want to go to uh, Area Editor again, and then save schematic when you're done when you're done with selecting everything save schematic um, and pick whatever name you want to and then save schematic now you can see I have the block right here and now what you want to do is go on to the other server or whatever it is you want to build this thing and I'll see you there so, I'm here on uh, a server I'm staff on. As you can see here, I've built a little bit of it uh, already in here. But if I, for example, now want to put in the block that I picked, go to load schematics, press the block and load schematic down here. Boom. Now I've put it to only show that layer, so let me just quickly... Here you can see the schematic, right here. You can go through it, and you can see all of the blocks needed. If you press M, schematic placement, configure on the block, and then material list. Here you can see how many diamond blocks you need how many dirt blocks and how many stone bricks you need to build this thing. If you now go to configuration menu, you can see here, if you set it here, you can actually see it layer by layer. If I uh, left click, it goes up one layer. If I right click, it goes down one layer. So I can go through all of it. Uh, so I don't need to see everything when I'm building it. And uh, also... I'm gonna go to take some dirt. And if I now press on... Uh, here, configure material list, you can see... Available. That's what I have in my inventory. So you can check how many you have, basically. Also, you can, if you don't want the uh, schematic right here, and you want to move it, you can go to schematic placement, configure, this one, move to player, you can rotate it, so now it's rotated this way. Um, You can also change it block by block individually. If you then 
when you're done uh, want to unload this you just go to loaded schematics and unload that's pretty much it if you want to play on this server uh, we have townie so it's this is my town right here I've started building on a castle over here and people have built on different plots here if you want to play on here the link the server IP with will be in the description thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace out